Okay. Yeah, welcome everybody to Uniswap Community Call 7. Uh, this week on the agenda, we again have a, a project building on top of Uniswap. Uh, they will present what they're doing. Uh, they're called multiple finance. And after that, we'll discuss the Uniswap itself. So, uh, yeah, as the agenda says in the announcements, uh, it's almost a year since the launch of Unitoken. <clears throat> and we'll discuss, do we like where the project is headed? Uh, and also somebody suggested that maybe Uniswap team or maybe a governance should consider launching something like SOX. Uh, and yeah, we can do some brainstorming about that idea. Uh, but first things first, uh, we have, uh, I believe, CTO of the multiple finance here. Let me just check. Uh, but he'll introduce himself. Yes, CTO Tony. Uh, he will present uh, multiple finance, uh, what they're doing, how are they doing it. Uh, and yeah, listen carefully. If you'll have any questions, you can write in the text chat. Uh, and uh, if you want to get on stage, uh, you are free to do so. Just raise your hand and I'll add you. But Tony, if you're here, take it away uh, and present your project. Yeah, sure. So thank you. <clears throat> um, hello, community. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity for me to present our concentrated liquidity solution. And I feel very excited. <clears throat> um, so we are originally in the video game development team dedicated to make AAA games on consoles and mobiles from 1997. Um, since 2007, we have started our a new journey to the blockchain world. We have made a, a lot of like decentralized products system to the community, um, including the wallets, exchange games, and also various of uh, um, DeFi protocols. One of our largest contribution is EIP two nine one seven, which is the staking reward calculation proposal that have been approved by the ERC community. Um, we have also participated in some well-known DeFi protocols among different chains. Um, for instance, Burger Swap on Binance Smart Chain. Um, in Burger Swap, we helped the entire Burger Swap's smart contract design and implementation. And also, we have participated in the Clover Finance um, Polkadot substrate. Um, in which we have contributed on the design and implementations of the developer incentivized program. So the objective of our team is dedicating ourselves to always reach the most recent technology and research, making them a user-friendly product to the market, making more and more normal users could benefit from it. So multiple protocol is our next station and that is going to help um, the advantages of the concentrated liquidity to spread to the DeFi world. And now I'm going to um, present on what is multiple protocol and how does it works. <clears throat> um, as the release of the Uniswap 3 on the mainnet, we feel that um, the giant microtrends are happening through all the over the DeFi world, which is because of the concentrated liquidity algorithm that Uniswap V3 invented. We can tell that the algorithm is going to lead the wave to all other decentralized exchanges as well. 
And we also believe that the most of the liquidities on the market will eventually flow into concentrated liquidity pools, simply because of its high liquidity efficiency compared to the traditional Uniswap V2. Um, at the same time, it raises both opportunities and challenges. <clears throat> the opportunities are very straightforward. Um, it earns more transaction fees because the provider capitals are concentrated to the current price. And the challenges are, um, since the concentrated liquidity algorithm requires much more factors and or inputs into the calculation, um, uh, it makes the ordinary investor getting harder and harder on making investment decisions. And as the professional traders with better financial background come into this field, the gap between the normal users and professional traders are going to be wider and wider. So multiple protocol is in a platform aiming to fill the gap by matching liquidities from the normal users and the top investment strategies from professional traders. We have created a unique algorithm and tokenomics to incentivize professional traders to keep optimizing their strategy to get better profit. So the biggest differences between our multiple protocol and other automatically liquidity providing protocol is instead of providing all the benefits for liquidity providers, we are um, dedicated on serving those professional traders. Instead, letting LP to decide where to put money in, our public votes uses on-chain calculation to decide how capitals are, are allocated to those professional traders, which we call that a proof of profitability. So it is essentially in a sharp like in a score calculation system on history trading performances. If you are interested, I will share um, some detailed documentation later. Yes, feel free to share any documentation uh, in August 11th com call. Sorry for interrupting. So just post anything relevant there. Okay, yeah, sure. I will definitely do that after the talk. <clears throat> okay, so where are we? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so, in talking about the public votes, we also uh, provide the, the private vote uh, that LPs can choose which GP to manage their capital. This is um, similar to Enzyme protocol, um, the one previously known as Melon protocol. Mm. The reason why we are designing our protocol like this is because we want those professional traders to compete each other to always keep developing better strategies for providing concentrated liquidity. So to help those professional traders onboarding to build strategies on Uniswap 3, we have carefully designed our protocols on helping them on on many aspects. First, we help the, the GP on raising the funds from both public and private votes. Second, we have also built a graph node to easily fetch in all the cleared data from Uniswap V3. We built a um, Node.js library to help professional traders to integrate their strategy to connect with multiple smart contracts. And we designed 50% of all the platform tokens are distributed to incentivize the top strategy builders. Um, the higher performance you have, more capital will be allocated under your management. Also, the, the all the capitals on the multiple platform are collateral free for those professional traders. So 
Aside uh, from those benefits, let's um, talk a bit about the risk management in the multiple protocol. Um, for the risk management, we have designed a system similar to compound or RV's uh, liquidator, which means if a strategy is improving the loss on multiple platform reaches the stop loss line, anyone can stop the strategy from a future impermanent loss. And the guy will be rewarded part of the transaction fee the strategy received. So when talking about the impermanent loss, we designed um, active um, the active hedging system that requires professional traders to actively hedge the hedge the impermanent loss from the other places like uh, centralized exchange. We are right now released uh, a multiple playground, which is an um, 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 Ethereum based test net with uh, Uniswap with three smart contract deployed and multiple smart contract deployed. And we have fully synchronized the Uniswap v 3 transaction data to the multiple test net for those professional traders being able to build their strategy and test the performance before they actually running on the mainnet instead. And I'm going to share you some documentation about how multiple playground uh, works after the talk. <clears throat> um, we have the plan to release our first mainnet build on the end of this month with all the small contracts have been fully audited by Certik. So for the next step, we plan to release a new strategy on multiple platform to support Uniswap V3's liquidity mining protocol, which means um, the liquidity providers and professional traders are re are are going to receive an extra uni while participating on the multiple protocol. And we also plan to build a layer one to layer two bridge to help um, those professional traders and are able to deploy their strategy on layer two with capitals from layer one. Um, yeah, I think that um, that's pretty much everything about our project. And if everyone has any questions, that I will be really happy to answer. Yes, thank you for uh, presentation. Uh, I have a couple of questions. So uh, if I understood correctly, uh, as a user, you deposit your funds to, to a pool uh, and then uh, those funds are uh, split between different professional traders that know how to set up the strategy for uh, liquidity providing uh, it, or i'm mistaken can you just uh, explain how how an end user uh, would use your uh, protocol i i didn't quite understand that part yeah okay so actually you're right you just described the, the the exactly workflow how multiple works so basically as a normal user he deposits his capital into uh, public votes and then those votes are being calculated um, uh, based on on each professional traders um, perf uh, trading performance and then those capitals are are um, are being managed by many professional traders. So the advantage of this approach is by distributing your capital to different people, you have less <clears throat> opportunities to, um, to lose money. And then since our protocols are incentivized, those, pro those professional traders to compete each other and your capital um, and your capital are always going to have the higher profit based on those um, recently updated strategies. 
<clears throat> okay, so yeah, I, I understood it correctly. And uh, let's say I, I'm a professional trader, which I'm not. Uh, how do I get traction? You know, uh, for example, your protocol is live for a year, let's say, and there are really some strategies that are effective. And I create mine, but how would my strategy get recognized uh, as a good one uh, if I don't have, you know, uh, in any any big data, uh, previous results? Uh, if you understand what I'm saying. Yeah, I totally understood what you're saying. That's actually a very good question. Um, it's related about um, we call that proof of the profitability calculation. Um, so basically, a strategy has uh, um, okay. So basically, the the most recent strategies have the higher scores on calculating the proof of the profitability. It's because we want the strategies always to be to be updated. So for instance, let's say if you have a, a really good performance strategy in a year ago, and now the strategy um, are not performs very good at this moment. So the score of this strategy are getting less and less. I mean, um, the accumulated scores are getting less and less. So the recent strategies who has a higher performance, so will having uh, a better score, um, adding to calculate the proof of the profitability. Another factor uh, affecting the profitability uh, proof of the profitability is how your strategy against when the market when the market um, volatility gets higher. So we we'll com we combine each factors um, all together to generate a, a score system to calculate how um, it's actually an estimation on how your capital should allocate it to, to different traders. Okay, so yeah, based based on the score, uh, that's that answers my question. Uh, another question I have: so, as a professional trader, uh, how much access do I have to the funds that are given to me? Uh, can I just you know shuffle it uh, in Uniswap, uh, add it it uh, as a liquidity, or uh, I have full access to? funds that are given to my disposal or the strategy itself manages everything and I just manage the strategy. Yeah, actually, um, so currently the only thing the uh, a professional trader can do is to provide liquidity on, um, um, on the giving trading pairs on Uniswap V3. So later we're going to adding more supports to other concentrated liquidity protocol, maybe. Yeah, but first of all, are we going to um, dedicate it to support Uniswap V3? Okay, yeah. Uh, and do you have any users? Uh, I know you said that launch on the mainnet didn't happen yet. But uh, do you have any professional traders in queue that are testing out the product? Um, yeah, currently we have above 100 professional traders are testing their strategies on, um, on our playground. So playground is basically a test net and that we have synchronized all the uh, um, transaction history from Uniswap V3 to the test net. So the test net's um, objective is going to help those uh, people um, who wants to to um, to test the 
um, to build and test this, the strategies for the Uniswap V3. So, so I can share all the detailed information about the multiple test nets after the talk. Okay, yeah, uh, and uh, one last question from me is what will be the name of the token uh, and what's uh, its utility at the end? Uh, well, you said that the best traders will receive this uh, token uh, and for what else will it be used? Okay. Um, so our platform token called MUL, M-U-L. So <clears throat> the utilities of our tokens are, um, I think we have the three user cases for the platform token. First one is we have the percentage of the transaction fees revenue are going to distribute it to the uh, token holders. And the second one is uh, you can stake the platform token to do, to do the DAO, so the decentralized government governance. Um, it's because in our protocol we have uh, a lot of like uh, parameters you can tune by the governance, for instance, and uh, how do we distribute the revenue? Um, how many percentage to the LPs and how many percentage to professional traders. And the last the um, utility of our token is um, so the tokens are going um, a part of the the revenue generated on the platform are going to buy back and burn the tokens. Um, oh, yeah. Um, one important thing I have missed, which is our platform token are going to purchase the GP work permit, which is the certificate uh, that for you to start working on the um, as professional traders on multiple platform. So basically speaking, you need to spend a certain amount of our platform token to start work with as a professional trader. Okay, yeah, uh, and the token will be a TAR ERC20 uh, uh, tokens uh, on Ethereum uh, or do you plan to launch it somewhere else? Yeah, the token is going to be launched on Ethereum as the ERC20 based token. Um, um, the work permit is uh, um, an NFT token. So basically, the NFT token records um, all of your performance, working performance. We call that proof of profitability. Okay. Uh, if anybody has any other questions, I think with me answering multiple questions, now I have a better idea. Uh, and I like this part that uh, professional traders uh, can set up uh, a strategy and then based on their performance, they are rewarded. That certainly can be interesting for some people. Uh, if they're good at setting up strategies. Uh, okay, I see we have YJ joining the stage. Do you have maybe some questions for Tony? No, that would be all. Uh, Thank you for presenting your project. You said... Sorry. Sorry. Oh, you were I, was, I, was, I was talking. I forgot to do the push to talk thing. I was going to say, um, 
Uh, I have one question about the the expert trader thing. Um, from the from white paper, it says that um, you know they're called GPs, and as they can, when they prove their profitability, then they can get access to more and more of the fund to run the trade. But um, how much of the fund do they themselves need to stake? You know, as in how much skin in the game do they need to put in um, for them to gain access to those fund to use on to apply their trading strategies? That's something that I'm not very sure about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so our protocol is collateral free capitals to use. So basically, the uh, a traders. The only thing he need to approve is their history trading performance. So we don't ask anything to stake. In in that case, wouldn't there be a risk where, you know, if if two professional traders, let's say, with historically good performance, are able to start gaining access to the funds, and they always just take opposite trades, one is gonna win, one is gonna lose. And then eventually, one of them can just do a massive trade in one direction, and then you know take the profit on the other, and kind of a mini rug pull, if you will. How how would the protocol protect against that? Yeah, that's a very good question. Okay, so basically, the only action the professional trader can do is provide liquidity on Uniswap V3, so he's not able to do any swaps. Um, so by providing liquidities. Um, um, so basically, um, you are not able to control the price. So, um, and then, um, so we have the guy on the platform we call that strategy manager, and he's been able to monitor all the strategies and then to this, um, and to detect. So. If one strategy's impermanent loss is reaching the stop loss line, and then he can stop this strategy, and to um and to get back all the funds. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks for answering. Yeah. Thank you for asking. Okay, yeah, YG always, YJ, I always call him YG. Uh, YJ always with the interesting questions. I didn't think about that. that that's an interesting idea. Um, yeah, uh, I think that would be all. Uh, thank you, Tony, for presenting your project. We wish you luck with the main at launch. Uh, and if you have any updates, Feel free just to share them here, either in chats uh, or yeah, tag me uh, or send me in private and I will share it. Uh, and yeah, thanks again for uh, making uh, some time to join our community call. Yeah, thank you. I, yeah. I will definitely to update all of the um, progress of our project. And then so I will invite you or someone else who are interested as the, the professional trader when our mainnet launches. Uh, okay, uh, don't forget to share all the resources that you think are valuable to our text chats so people can follow you. Uh, yeah, feel free to share your Discord server. <clears throat> we are not against that project uh, here joining our community call. So uh, yeah, that, that would be all. Uh, and see you around. Yeah, I see you. Thank you very much. I'm sharing all the documentations. Okay, sounds good.